The Empire had seized his ship. They'd have to take it back. Interesting. Right. Hello everyone and welcome back to Story Step of Destiny. This is ya como and who this might be the last episode of the Let's play. Ish. Oh. Renato had a feeling that was the back door to something. But what? Is maybe? Like I need it. And it's gone. Hey, what now? Ah, that of course. Reporter. And there it was, his beautiful skycraft, the Farfare. Though it fare very far indeed, beyond the Empire, beyond the reach of the Empire, to the mystical island of Avalon. He didn't know exactly where it was, but he knew he could find it. And they would find peace there. Second star on the right, and straight on till morning, laughed Zenobia. And they laughed together for the first time in a long time. This has been surprisingly short so far. Maybe I'll just need to tag this on along with the last episode. I'm getting too cocky. Ow. Finally he's dead. Ew. Okay, getting close to the end apparently. There was an engraving. Maximum capacity. 130 feet. Wow. Well then, one last dead. Apparently. Ow. Seriously? So this is what it was like to die. Not nearly as much fun as they said. Sanyon in. Does anyone actually say that dying is fun? Okay. Let's heal up more just in case. Because I get the feeling we are like really close to the end. Say the least. Here this time. 
Testing. This might actually be the last. Very last episode of this game. Phew. It has been a fairly long journey actually. Seriously? Really need to be more careful with the, you know, explodey ones. Like seriously. The worst part is it's probably the very last fight of the whole thing. How long is this fight? Okay, this might be a longer episode than I expected. Renato had always wanted a flying carpet. This was more like a flying tabletop, but it would do. <laughs>
Hey, this. Uh, doesn't help that the controls are messed up over here. Like, seriously. He just doesn't like me pressing too many controls. That doesn't work. Seriously, how do I do this? Yeah, kinda like that, huh? They actually f win, finally. But they did not go unnoticed. Scout ships lifted off, and a long lance of the Imperial flagship. Renato turned downwind to gain speed. The Raven ships could pursue, but they couldn't close. The far speaker croaked, you "Return her and live. Go sacrifice yourself," yelled Renato. "Then you won't have her either." On the flagship, the Emperor was readying some arcane weapon. It couldn't be. It was... the core. A devastating beam lanced out of the flagship. Bernardo zigzagged wildly to keep the Farfare out of it. Now the Raven scout ships were closing the distance. And the beam was getting closer too. Then came a blinding flash. And the air was searingly hot all around him. There was a thunderous, deafening roar. He could smell burnt oak and burnt feathers and burnt flesh. But when he could hear and see again, they were alive and unhurt. And they were alone in the sky. Zenobia embraced him. They had done it. Through luck and through love, they had won the war. Avalon, here we come, he said as he held her arms wide in the prow of the boat and let her feel its speed. Maybe the real Avalon is wherever we're together, she said. And so, Ooh, nice. after a bit of an argument, Renardo and Zenobia went to one of the two Avalones. The one shrouded in mists. Or the one in their hearts. But which one they went to, I'll never tell. He'd done it. He'd forged his own destiny. Well. He hadn't actually done done it, but he knew what he would do. Renato smiled at the book. He practically wanted to kiss it. The kid's sacrifice hadn't been in vain. He'd saved the book and saved the world. Renato owed him and his mother so much. Renato lowered the mainsail. 
and let the Farfarer shoot forward in the breeze. Second star to the right, and straight on till morning. This time, he would win. Oh. Well then, that was interesting. I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, I need a breather, a breather, whatever. Huh. That was a far more interesting ending than I expected. What a great one, nonetheless. I hope you all liked it as well. Uh, I don't really have a lot to say, like, I think I... I think my reaction spoke by itself, I hope, uh, and... Yeah, uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and whatever, if you, and, and I'm going to go hug Fluffy Tails myself now. Because I kinda need it. <sighs> that was one last fight, if I do say to myself. Yeah, um, yeah uh, right, uh, bye bye!